All right, we have the Opus BTC3100 battery charger testers. Uh, I've been looking all over YouTube and everywhere else, and pretty much this is the charger that a ton of people use for salvaging these 18650 batteries to test her capacity. So I went ahead and got one, and I quickly found out it's going to take me a long time <laughs> to charge these batteries because we're ta we're talking about hours to charge. So I went and grabbed four more for a total of five. Um, yeah, things are going much smoother now. I'm getting a lot of batteries processed. So here's the issues I've run into. Uh, for one, they, they do have a feature where they can tell you the capacity. I just, I just do the charge test, so it will top up the battery, uh, discharge it fully, and then top it up again and tell you the amp hours when, uh, when it was discharging. Uh, it'll also have a separate test for testing internal resistance. My uh, little nitpicky thing is I wish they would combine those two tests together so I wouldn't have to uh, make my process take any more time <laughs> of my own personal interaction than, than I do already. So uh, I just skip over the internal resistance tests altogether because number one priority is capacity. Um, these things can test other batteries. You look on the back and you see you can uh, pop the cover and flip that switch to different voltages. So 3.7, 4.35 and the 4.2 for the 18650s is by default. I just drilled a hole in there just so I could flip that switch on that one. Uh, I haven't done it to any of the other ones. I just really was just fiddling around with that one. If you want to charge with two amps, you can only do it on these two right there. Uh, you can't have a single battery in this place. You either have two amps or one amp max for all of them. All right. So, speaking of which, my main problem right now is heat. And I was having a lot of issues with this, and it felt very hot. I was very concerned. The documentation says it's towards the end of the processes, things can heat up. Well, I want to see how hot they get. And we're at 58, 61 degrees Celsius. All right. So we'll go with 61 Celsius. And uh, I ran out and got a thermal camera because of that, one of the reasons. But you'll notice they have a cutoff right here, over 60 degrees Celsius, which is 140 degrees Fahrenheit. These things do not cut off when they say they should. That, and I think 60 degrees Celsius is too high. Uh, I, would, I would change it to 50 degrees Celsius if I could. If they had a switch in the back to flip like that does for voltage, I'd flip it in a heartbeat. Uh, but other than that, these things are very dependable. They go through their whole charging cycles. Um, I've had some with very low voltage and they were able to recover the batteries just fine. Um, so yeah. Uh, so if this is what you're looking for, that's the review, that's what I got for you. Um, I'm just getting started, so. Yeah. <laughs>